use smart tech. In this video, I want to show you about the applying of timer, counter, and button. And this is a small game, game project here. I want to show my user, whoever answer the right, uh, whoever pick the right answer can move into the next page. And this time I'm gonna give him a to give them a timer to count down. Uh, if they didn't make the right answer in time, uh, they also cannot move into the next page. They have to go back from the start. So, so we click the timer here. We pick page timer, and we can set how many sec we want to count down. I will say ten second because this is a very easy question and play the timer when browsing whenever they go into this page the timer turn on and you can hide the timer or not but we need to let them know we are counting so we don't hide it also we need we have a count we, I want to Add and counter here. Whoever answer the uh, pick the right answer will get scored, and the counter will will count it. Okay, so now we click the hotspot here, and we choose go to the interaction tab, and we choose touch the object. We choose counter, and then what happened? We can choose here increase counter and how many we want to increase I will say one and I already set the other hotspot so now totally we got if we we pick the right answer we will got two point and we will need to set that when we got two point the next chapter the next chapter button will show up and now I will go to the insert tab and I will go to button the next chapter is this one and then now think this way uh, when the counter uh, arrived two point the next chapter part button should play his animation which means show up or appear and then okay so let's get it down I'll click counter interaction tab counter change to two digit the object which means next chapter will appear I choose appear because we don't have any animation set to the button so now I will go back to the chapter and set the animation okay I will say the next chapter zoom out I guess then add and go back to the counter choose the interaction content here and I will change the appear to animate play single animation and I'm gonna hide this counter because I don't want the user to see the counter or you can hide or you can drag it out to the out of the edit zone okay now so we go back to the button and we click hide object when browsing then we see what we got <laughs> okay so I pick the right answer yeah it should show up okay so far it's great and we only need to uh, set up what happened when we click the button and what happened when the time is up so let me uh, show you how to set it. I'll click the timer and then I will say timer end.
the page switch to the very start and I will say the button touch uh, the, the page switch to next chapter and I'm gonna give this button an, an animation which is seesaw and I want to choose a, a seesaw that is not the uh, normal tempo okay and then click add okay, do I click add? okay so let's see what happened here Okay, pick the right answer. And there's something missing here. I picked the right answer, but the count, uh, the timer didn't stop. So I'm gonna do another setting here. My count, uh, my counter is here. Counter change to two digit and then the timer should stop right away okay let's see Okay, seems like we make it. Okay, now it takes me a second to figure out why my button animation just the repeat, just the, the first one. I'll show you. <laughs> now the, the second animation didn't show up. And I find out because the counter here, when we go to the interaction setting here, the the count uh, we in, we set that the counter increase to the two digit, then the next chapter should play single animation. But no, we should play whole animation. Now then we save. <laughs> Okay. Now the animation of this button will play one after another, and I just uh, uh, introduce you briefly the insert function here. We still have HTML web page formula PDF that we haven't mentioned yet, but maybe I will introduce it in the next video so enjoy it we are you smart tech and this is smart apps creator too hope you will like it see you next time